Hi, this is Anil from Learning Land with a video tutorial on C programming. So, in this tutorial, we're gonna see how to use the realloc function in C to, you know, reallocate the memory, you know, which has been already allocated using the m alloc or, you know, the C alloc function. So, this realloc function is gonna increase or decrease the size of the allocated memory. So first uh, we're gonna see the syntax of this uh, realloc function and then we're gonna see you know how we can use that in our program. So this realloc function as a parameter is gonna take uh, the current storage pointer you know which is obtained by the previous call to the yum alloc or the c alloc function and then the new size that we want. So this new size will be in the bytes and if it is zero and the pointer is pointing to an um, existing block of memory then the memory block pointed by this pointer will be deallocated because you know we are mentioning the size as zero and we are passing a valid pointer here you know a size of zero means no memory that's why this realloc function is gonna deallocate that memory so if this uh, current storage pointer is null value and we have some size here then it's gonna uh, create a new block of memory and it's gonna return the address of the first byte of that allocated memory so okay now we're gonna see you know how we can use this uh, realloc function in our program so just for the demonstration purpose uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna create some memory using the malloc function to store some strings and then we're gonna use this realloc function and we're gonna increase the size of that um, block so mind you that you know using this realloc function you can uh, increase the size or you know decrease the size or you can uh, deallocate also you know by passing a value of zero here okay now we're gonna see you know how we can uh, use this realloc function in our program so first i'm gonna create a character pointer so it's gonna be char star str and um, then uh, we can allocate the memory using the emalloc function so it's gonna be str equal to yum alloc and uh, I'm gonna specify a size of um, 13 so when the size is 13 what we can do is we can store 12 characters because you know last one byte will be used to you know store the you know a null character to specify you know the end of the character stream or the end of the string okay now we're gonna check whether you know the malloc has uh, successfully allocated memory for us or not. So I'm gonna use the if statement. If str is equal to null, you now which is gonna mean that uh, the memory wasn't allocated for us. So I'm gonna say that using the put as function, and I'm writing the message as unable to allocate memory else you know if the malloc function has successfully allocated memory for us then we're gonna um, we're gonna store some values in that um, allocated memory so i'm gonna use the strcpy function which stands for string copy first we need to pass the destination so it's gonna be str and then the string so this time i can store 12 characters that's why i'm gonna write uh, learning space lad so it's of 12 characters okay now we're gonna just print it out so i'm gonna use the put as function and we need to pass this str here okay the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, resize that uh, allocated memory using this malloc function so let's let's say we want to make it to a value of 19 so i'm gonna use the realloc function so it's gonna be realloc and uh, as a parameter first we need to pass the current storage pointer you know which is uh, the str and then the value or the new size that we want so this time i'm going to specify let's say 19 so this realloc function is going to take this um, current storage pointer and it's going to increase the size because you know 19 is greater than 13 which is you know previously allocated size and uh, it's gonna return the address of the first byte of this um, you know newly allocated memory so with the previously allocated memories you know if more memories are available at the same block you know then it's gonna return the same uh, value 
you know which is the address of the first byte else if that uh, you know sufficient memory is not available from that memory block then it's gonna then it's gonna allocate a new block and it's gonna return the address of the first byte so we're gonna store that in our str uh, pointer and also we need to cast this one to char so it's gonna be char star okay now this str is gonna point to a memory of um, 19 bytes so it means we can store a value of 18 characters so what we're gonna do is we're gonna append some characters to this learning last string so I'm gonna use strcat which stands for string concatenation so if you don't know about this please watch my uh, tutorial on string concatenation so first we need to pass the pointer which is in you know, str then the string that you want to concat so I'm gonna add a space first then I'm gonna write rocks r o c k yes so first so previously it was around uh, 12 characters here now here 13 14 15 16 17 18 now we have stored the 18 characters and uh, in the 19th byte you know a null character will be stored you know just to indicate that uh, you know that's the end of the strings so next uh, we're going to use a put as function to print out the value so it's going to be put as and str so the last thing that we're going to do is you know we're going to free this allocated memory so i'm going to use a free function and as a parameter we're gonna pass str okay okay now before running this program let me see whether I can draw this okay let's assume that this is the stack space provided by the operating system to for the programs to store their local values and this is a heap and this program 1 and program 2 are the currently you know running programs okay let's assume that uh, ours is a program 1 so first when we use this malloc function and allocate 13 bytes of memory the memories will be allocated here in the heap so it's gonna allocate 13 bytes of memory so it will be 13 and uh, you know we are storing a value of learning lag so the learning lag string will be stored here next when we reset this memory using the realloc function and specified a new size which is 19 you know the realloc function is going to check whether the sufficient memory required to you know increase the size which is a uh, uh, 19 byte is available you know just after the current allocation so if that memory is available then it's going to allocate the memory from here and uh, you know the 19 bytes which is the remaining bytes required is 6 it's going to allocate 6 bytes here and it's going to return the address of this first byte so let's say that uh, this much memory is used by some other program you know after this um, previous allocation there is no bytes available so at that time what the realloc function is going to do is it's gonna allocate an entirely new block of memory of 19 bytes and it's gonna copy all the contents present in this um, you know previous block you know all the contents here which is learning lad and it's gonna copy to this newly allocated uh, memory and also you know this newly allocated block is gonna contain the size of 19 and also it's gonna free this memory so this memory can be used by some other programs running in the system so next it's gonna return the address of the first byte of this um, newly allocated block so that will be stored in our pointer str so when we concat some values which is you know rocks to the previous thing you know learning lag so the learning lag rocks will be stored in this newly allocated block okay now I'm gonna run this program so execute compile and run so you can see here the learning lad which is from the first put as function you know that's the value we have stored and then we use the realloc function to resize that uh, memory and uh, you know we just uh, concatenated rocks to this um, previous string learning lad that's why we're getting learning lad rocks because of this second put as function and then we just you know free this uh, memory so this is it guys this is about uh, the 
realloc function in C. Just remember that you know this realloc function is used to resize the previously allocated uh, memory using the malloc or uh, calloc function dynamically. And also using this realloc function, you can increase the size or you can uh, decrease the size, and also you know you can deallocate the memory by specifying the uh, new size as zero. And also, you know, you can, um, you know, create a new block of memory by passing a value of null to this, you know, current storage pointer. So, thank you guys. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Like my Facebook page at facebook.com slash learninglad. And I'll see you in the next tutorial.